Well, do you know how hard it is to impress Simon Cowell? Well, he called my next guest the most astonishing person he'd ever seen in his entire life. He is a world-renowned mentalist whose virtual show called Remote Control has been sold out for 12 straight weeks. I want you to welcome the certifiably astonishing Max Major. Max, welcome. Yeah. Hey, thank you, thank you. You know, I've been pumped about having you here. I've watched that video with you and Sam, Simon Cowell. Yeah. You blew him totally away. I blew him right off the show. Totally That did. was the last episode. <laughs> Well, that's, that's pretty well what you did. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing is you predicted it would happen, I guess, yeah, right? Yeah, I would, I would love to try a chance to connect with you and yeah, get let's inside your mind a little bit. Yeah. Well, there's not much up there, but you feel free to go ahead and take a tour. Okay, okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I brought some uh, ESP cards with me. These oh, okay. are some classic symbols. Yeah, I watch ESP a lot of times for football Oh, that's games. ESPN. That's oh, a little okay. different. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, these are very classic. They were invented in the 1930s as a way of mm. testing psychic ability. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know, they're the circle, the cross, the wavy lines, the square, and the star. I okay. have a set of these for you. All right. A set for me. Maybe you could set your papers aside. Yeah, let me put those over there. And which one would you like to use, the red or the black? It's I'll use the red. You'll use the red. Yep. Okay, take the red towards you. Okay. And I want you to mix them up so that no one but you knows the order of your cards. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's and then hold them shuffle. towards you. Kind okay. of so you can see all like the faces. This. Okay. What okay. I want you to do is to focus on one of those shapes. So to focus on one in your mind. Okay. And look at me and imagine sending it right here to me. Okay. Good. I'm going to go with this one right here. I want you to take the card that you're thinking of and mm -hmm. place it down right here. Face down or face up? No, face down. Absolutely. Face down. Face down. Yes. Okay. Right there. Not just yet. Okay. okay. Um, we're going to do this a couple of times. All right. Okay. Each time I want you to connect with a new shape. So look at one now. Okay. Good. Look at me. We'll go with, yep, this one right here. Good. You can place it down again. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with this one right here. Place down the one you're thinking of. Okay. Okay. Very good. And we'll try this um, a little differently. You have two cards left now, yeah? I do. Right, okay. two cards. I want you to hold them in either hand. Okay. On the count of three, you're going to turn those two cards towards me. You ready? Okay. One, two, three. Take a look. Uh oh. Set it down. Oh my goodness. I did. The, no way. Okay. And the wavy lines. Ah. Uh, pretty cool, right? Yeah. Wow. Pretty weird. Pretty weird. Now, I want you weird. to keep in mind that each step of the way, I always put my card down first before you ever put yours down. Can you pick up your stack? Sure. Okay. I want you to grab the top card. Top card. And lay it face down right there. Yeah. And take the next card. <laughs> I know it's going to happen. It's going to be the star. Of course it is. That is just weird. So it only leaves one other. Go ahead. The cross. The cross. The cross. That's all five. That's all five. Five wow. out of five. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Ooh. So obviously some kind of connection forming here, but I want to switch roles. Okay. And I want to see if maybe you could pick up on a thought inside someone else's mind. Oh, like Keith? Keith. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right. Now, Good look, luck that shouldn't that. be a problem. <laughs> We're going to test your connection. We'll find out. I have a set of ESP symbols for you as well. Okay. I'll drop them on the table here so you can kind of familiarize yourself with the shapes once again. Okay. I want you to scoop them up into a pile. Okay. Turn everything face down. Okay. And mix them around just a little bit. It's up to okay. you so that only you know the order, or maybe you don't even know the order. That's I, I have no idea. Good. Square them up <laughs> face down. Hold them just like that. Take okay. your other hand, hold it up like this. Okay. Reach down, pick up a chunk of cards, as many or as little as you want. Pick okay. up a chunk. Don't let anybody see. Pick up a chunk. Okay. Straight up. Yep. And hold it to your heart. Hold that chunk to your heart and set the rest of the cards down. I want you to take a peek at that card, know what it is in your mind, and then hold it back to your heart. Okay. Okay. Be honest. Do you have any idea which card he's thinking Absolutely of? Absolutely right no idea. Okay. In a moment, you're going to try to tune into his thoughts. Now, sometimes when I do this, people say they see an image or shape in their mind. Mm -hmm. Other times, people hear a voice in their head. However it comes to you, okay. I want you to just go with it. Okay? Mm. You've done great so far. To be fair, <laughs> here, let's try it this way. Okay. Um, actually, if you could hold out your hand. Okay. Yeah, just look at your palm right now. I want you to All look right. at your palm. Find a spot where two lines intersect. Mm -hmm. Focus on that spot. And as you notice your eyes change focus, just allow your eyes to close. Let your head drop down just a little bit. Keep everything right there. Okay. Take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just listen to me with your eyes closed, eyes closed. Okay. Keep your eyes closed now. Okay. Keith, I want you to show that shape to everyone here. Let everyone see what the shape is. Nobody say anything out loud. Nobody say anything out loud. Good. Hold it back to your heart. 
Okay. Governor, you can sit up straight with your eyes closed. Eyes take closed. Take your fingers, place them in your ears. If you have an earpiece in, take it out. Out, okay. Okay, place your fingers in your ears, eyes closed. And I want you to imagine right now that all of you were sending this thought to him. Project it into his mind. Nod your head if you think you have something. You have something? You do. Take your fingers out of your ears. I couldn't hear any. I mean, I was trying to figure out when I was supposed to open my eyes. Oh, you couldn't hear me. No, I but could not you hear you. did you hear anything in your mind? Look, I'm almost deaf as it is, and you put my fingers in my ears, and I'm like totally <laughs> out of it. This is bad. Well, this, I mean, <laughs> if this works, would be insane. Did yes, you, it would. Did you have an idea in your mind? The star. Oh, my goodness. Let him see. <laughs> the star. That's, that's crazy. That that's is, crazy. That is wild. That was great. Thank you very that, much. Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out. You're thinking about it. You're yeah, going to be thinking about it. Absolutely. Okay. So have you got something else you want to tell us about? Uh, yeah. I, you know, I have a virtual show that I'm doing since all the theaters in my area closed I down know. in Las Vegas. How does a virtual show work? Uh, basically, it's like going to a Zoom meeting. Yeah. You're at your home. You tune in with a webcam. I can see you. You can see me. And we can interact. And so I actually read people's minds through the screen. We've been no sold kidding. out for weeks oh, now. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so from the comfort of your own home, it's an interactive TV show that you watch with a few other families and uh, you actually get to experience this from anywhere in the world, so you don't I mean, have to come to Las Vegas anymore. That is pretty cool. And you can do this by way of, uh, like, the Internet. I wasn't People sure just... I could in the beginning, but I had to adapt, like everybody else, with the way things have changed. And I found that it actually became a really cool way for people to experience this without having to leave the comfort of their own home. So now I bring the show right into your living room. I mean, that is awesome because people want some entertainment. They want to, wow. they'd love to be able to go to the show that you yeah. have in Vegas, but they can't do that with everything closed down. Yeah. But they can line up and be a part of it with you that way. From home. Yeah. What Absolutely. a great idea. Hey, you got another one for us? Uh, do we have time? We can try one more quick thing. Let's Maybe try. I could try with you because I tried yeah. something. I want to read I his mind. You want to well, read his mind. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could try something a little more complex than some simple shapes. Um, here's what I want you to do. I want okay. you to think about your PIN number. Okay. Your debit card PIN number. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me have your card while you're thinking of this. I'll get it back to you next week. To be fair, does anyone else know your PIN number other than you? Is it something, you, it's not something he doesn't know it, nobody else, this is literally. Well, he sure doesn't know it, and I wouldn't trust Trey with it. For All right, there you go. I, I want you That's to imagine right. you were walking up to the ATM. Okay. You put your card into the machine. Okay. The next thing you do is type in your PIN number, but don't type it in. Just okay. hold your hand up like this as if you were going to type it in and look at me and imagine the numbers one at a time. Good. Um, do you have something I can write with? Yeah. A pen or a marker or Here's anything? A, I got both. Scrap of paper there here. There it is. Um, something like, I don't know, if, hopefully you can't see through this. I'm going to show this to the camera, but not to you. Okay? Don't look at the monitors. Tell us all, what is your four-digit PIN number? Do I want to say this? <laughs> yeah, because somebody's going to steal your credit card and... It's over. They'll spend less than your wife, so That's go right. ahead. Five, this one, is... two, three. Whoa. <laughs> You told him. I did not. I did not. You didn't? No. No. Well, now we all know. I, I need to get <laughs> I got to go change my You got to call your bank. Yeah, I think. <laughs> that is crazy. That is nuts. All right, Keith, I want you to read my mind, and I want you to tell the viewers what I think they need to know about Max Major. Well, let's see. That'll be light reading, I do believe. To see more amazing videos and to book Max for your corporate or theatrical events or get tickets for his interactive Zoom shows right in your own home, visit maxmajor.net. And be sure to follow Max on social media as well.